Greetings, Greetings from, from Roswell. Roswell. <laughs> we know some of you were concerned about our safety here in Roswell, but have no fear. We've taken precautions. In case you didn't notice, TJ uh, I fashioned us some headgear. Yep, so when we're outside of the Illuminum Airstream, we are protected against any alien invasion, probing, any of the above. <laughs> So we are staying at Bottomless Lakes State Park, which is about, what, a 20 minute drive outside? It's about 20 of, minutes outside of Roswell. Of Roswell. Uh, it's a decent park. It, it looks like in the summer, it'd be really fun. They have a beautiful clear lake. With this really cool like red rock backdrop, I could definitely see where uh, coming back here when it's warm enough to enjoy the water. <laughs> Pretty cool place. There was one night this week that there's a lot of dairy farming around here, which I didn't realize that New Mexico is a big dairy farming state, but the winds were blowing the wrong way one night this week and the stench got a little stinky. Oof, it was it got pretty stinky. nasty. Uh, but it was just the one night. Yeah, it hasn't happened again since, thank goodness. Uh, so yeah. Um, but other than that, it's it's actually a pretty decent campground. It's not the uh, the best state park we've ever stayed in, but yeah. it's, it's nice, it's clean. Let's just say it's not our favorite, but it's not our worst either. So yeah. Yeah, so today we're going into town and uh, Check it out. We'll see what happens. <laughs> All right. This place makes their, they put bacon in everything, <laughs> which, I mean, to be fair, bacon makes most things, everything better. better. Yeah. So their burger patties are 70% beef, 30% bacon. <laughs> they somehow infuse bacon into their mayonnaise. Um, I don't know. It's they supposed to like their bacon. It's supposed to be incredible. This is one of my I I love eating. <laughs> we and, love eating. <laughs> and um, so when we're in new places, that's one of my favorite things to do is look up the local restaurants. We avoid chains like the plague, but but I love to find a good local restaurant and try their specialty. So here they have a 505 green chili hatch burger that's supposed to be amazing. And that's what I got. And TJ got the, the chorizo burger, which it's still it's pork loin right. and bacon and ground beef. Yeah. Uh, some kind of chilies in it, I think. It's, it's a little spicy. So yeah, I'm excited to try this place. You know, growing up, my family was big on grilling out. My grandpa would make these really big, um, fresh burger patties. They didn't believe in frozen burger patties. They always, they always made made it real. So I'm always on the hunt for a good burger. My family ate mostly out of the microwave. Oh! <laughs> oh. No offense, Mom. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> Anyways, yep, so waiting on our burgers. Yep. Chef Todzillas in Roswell, New Mexico. If you're in this area, definitely come here. That was <laughs> close to one of the best burgers I've ever eaten, I think. Mm -hmm. And I ordered a chorizo burger, and I don't even like chorizo, and it was <laughs> really good. And the uh, yeah, the burger I had was the one that they're sort of known for. And it, it was really good too. Yeah, you can definitely see why. They yeah. grind their meat fresh daily uh which is just incredible um they've been on the food network they it doesn't look like much of a place it's a bit of a dive but 
Those, we there, find those are some of the best places. Yeah, though. absolutely. Um, so you could tell it was really quality, fresh ingredients. Right. And they're, they seem very passionate about what they're doing. Yeah, absolutely. And it shows in the food, I think. Nothing fancy, nothing, um, you know, like gourmet, it, but it was a $10 burger. It was worth every penny. Very, very good. Really good. Must, mm -hmm. must stop here. If for nothing else in Roswell, <laughs> come to come to Chef Todd Zillis. I'm making a commercial for these guys. TJ really liked it. I really liked it. It was mm -hmm. very good. We've been we've been searching for some really good food ever since we left Florida and haven't really come across much that just you know blew blew our socks off. It takes a lot to impress TJ. He's yeah. got a very a very particular Yeah, food, he's I, he's got a really I don't know how to say it. His palate is really refined. I know that sounds completely ridiculous. Especially when we're talking about hamburgers. All right. But it's true. He's just really really picky. It takes I'm not picky. Yeah, picky's the wrong word. It just takes a lot to impress me with food. That's it, exactly. Good job, Chef Toddzilla. Good job. <laughs> All right, now with full bellies, we're headed into the UFO Museum. <laughs> <laughs> on the UFO Museum and Research Center. A little cheesy, <laughs> but... But super interesting. Interesting at, at the same time. Right, exactly. I, um, I don't know, I'm fascinated by like unexplained events. <laughs> I wanted to see the Marfa Mystery Lights. I would love to have a UFO sighting, but there's still time, we're here for another day. <laughs> so, yeah, so far it hasn't worked out. If you're not aware of the story, back in 1947, there was a crash on a ranch out in Roswell. Allegedly. <laughs> that uh, shortly after, it, it made headlines as being a UFO, and shortly after the military stepped in and claimed that it was a weather balloon that crashed. But there's always been doubt uh, as to the truth of that, and supposedly there were four aliens recovered from the crash site, like two miles away from the crash site, that ejected um, from the UFO <laughs> as it was crashing. There were apparently really high winds uh, the night before uh, that caused the crash, which I can attest to the fact that New Mexico gets some pretty crazy wind. We thought we were going to get blown over in the air. <laughs> they would have thought it was a crash site. An alien ship. <laughs> right? Um, so, so that's the story. Um, some people say it's just it was just a weather balloon crash, and then some people say that's just the military's cover up of it. Okay, next is the Roswell Museum and Art Center. No idea what to expect out of this. No it idea. Was we were told to come here, and it's the number one thing to do on TripAdvisor. So, and check it out. Here we go.
check this exhibit out. This guy's getting rammed by a bull. I think this is a guy and his dog, maybe. That's a guy with his horse. What is that? I totally don't understand art. Yeah, I don't understand art. <laughs> oh wait, that's not an exhibit. done in the museum. That place was pretty pretty cool. It was free so that's always nice to find something free to do and it had a really nice collection of different types of art and a weird mix of like historical stuff too. I Old guns and swords and Indian artifacts. We got there about 45 minutes till close, so we didn't spend a ton of time in there. They also had one of the weirdest rules I've ever seen, <laughs> which was that we weren't allowed to bring in like the mounts for our cameras. Like we, we could bring in the camera, but you couldn't bring in the tripod or the gimbal. The gimbal. Right. But you could take pictures and videos all you wanted. You just couldn't carry it on a stick. <laughs> He literally said, you can't bring the sticks in. I'm yeah. like, what? We weren't sure what he was talking about at first. <laughs> um, so yeah, if the video's kind of shaky, I guess that's probably why. Yeah. But anyways, not a big deal, just odd, Different. I thought. Never heard of that rule before. <laughs> no, no, it was strange. That concludes our tour of Roswell. <laughs> <laughs> for today <laughs> we'll today. be we'll be exploring more tomorrow um maybe more trails though tomorrow than um than coming into town because i'm really not sure that there's too much I more think to there's do a whole lot to do Roswell. here really yeah <sighs> so far my favorite thing the burger place <laughs> <laughs> So we are at Bottomless Lake State Park. State Park. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Dogs, Dogs are going crazy. <laughs> um, our plan originally was to leave today, but the forecast was for 40 mile per hour gusts, which is not fun when you're uh, towing. 20 mile an hour steady and 40 mile an hour gusts. So we, we decided to extend a day. So one thing we're noticing is just how cold it gets at night here. It's, you know, you always hear about the desert being really hot during the day and really cold at night. And there is definitely a lot of truth to that. Uh, I think we're, we're seeing like a 50 degree uh, difference yeah. between hot and cold, which is, which is surprising. Yeah, it's, we're seeing 90 degree days and 40 degree nights. So we're having to run the heat at night and the AC during the day. It's a giant variation. I thought that we were used to that in Florida, but I think it may be even worse out here. At least it's a drier heat. We're not covered in humidity. Yeah, yeah. Which is nice. Yeah. I mean, uh, so anyways, that's our, that's what we're doing today. Just kind of a low key day. Gonna spend some time outside with the dogs exploring. Do some chores before we leave tomorrow, yeah. fill the tires up and that kind of thing. Right, get prepared as much as we can so that tomorrow we're just ready to hitch up and go. Yep, try to get out of here early. We've got a, a three and a half hour ride tomorrow, which isn't bad. But Yep, we're headed to Santa Fe uh, tomorrow, so we're excited to, to spend some time there. I think that's the kind of place that we could easily spend 
a few weeks if we wanted to. Right, yeah. So we don't know exactly how long we'll stay there. It kind of depends on the weather. We'll be waiting for Colorado to get warm enough for us to move up. So uh, yeah, we'll be there for at least a week and probably longer.